Hey guys, I'm Ben, and welcome back to Let's Rebuild The Sims 4. Last time, we took a tour of Movers and Shakers, and today we are going back into the residential homes and building our new families. Today, we are touring the Rumi's household. Not the Rumi's from Oasis Springs, the OG Rumi's, the Sims 1 Rumi's. The Sims who needed to be in this game. They were robbed, and we need them back. So here's Chris and Melissa, and here is their bio. Melissa and Chris moved in as roommates, but soon their friendship blossomed into something much more than that. How will the newlyweds spend their new life together? So one thing I feel like, like everyone who's played The Sims 1 has done, I mean, not everyone, but like, most people who play The Sims 1 would usually pair Chris and Melissa together. And that's what I did for this build, you know. So here for Potter's Splay, experience this quaint rustic household, perfect for new couples, inspired by ten, ten Sim Lane from The Sims 1. So one thing I really like about this particular house in, like, The Sims 1 is that it feels very cozy and, like, the gameplay itself like feels very smooth. I mean, that's hard to describe, but like when you play with two Sims, you can sort of build a routine off of that. Though that's not necessarily like like an, an entertaining thing to do because then it's like it, you get bored of the routine really fast. But that aside, and I want to like start putting families in from like the original Sims games. Like I've been doing that. I mean, and I'm thinking of like getting rid of like the families that were spawned in and then just replacing them with like the new families. Cause I mean there's so many families that I could be like creating. And this is only one of them, you know. So here is the Rumi's household. Here's I'm guess let me just get the thumbnail ready. Alright. Right, just wait here like couple seconds just so I can like get it like get enough time to like take that screenshot you know prepare the thumbnail have a good to go and there we go okay so if as you see here this is sort of of diff this is inspired by the original old roomies household I mean it's technically not the roomies household you can move them in wherever you want but, I mean, this is, like, the household that was, like, originally there in Tenson Lane. I gave him, like, a lot of flowers because I imagine Melissa to be very nature-oriented, while Chris is much more, like, into, like, technology and gaming and stuff. So here's their, like, living room area, you know, where you can, like, sit and watch TV. There's, like, this nice little hallway here. There's a lesbian pride flag. Again, then we walk into this like quaint kitchen. We have the dining area with the bonsai tree. And you have this like nice little kitchen with like a gaming table. You know, it's an it's very small and simple. But I wanted to emulate the look of Ten Sim Lane because I mean I don't want it to be exactly like Ten Sim Lane. Ten Sim Lane because as Ten Sim Lane is kind of weird in its like design. I just but I did want to replicate the feeling of it. Like it has like similar like wallpaper and flooring and stuff and oh my gosh that's ew this is from when uh, melissa was like cutting the bonsai tree so uh, sorry about that i'm gonna have to excuse melissa but it's fine in any case if you continue back down here oh my gosh okay Uh, why am I having so much trouble with this? Jeez. Okay, let's go back down. And then, like, look around, okay? So you can see Melissa and Chris, like, wandering around a little bit. Actually, I should take a look at the photos I put here. Because you see the console table here. Or I think, is it, like, a console table? Or is it, like, an axe? I, I think it's a console. So we have, like, Melissa and Chris and, like, Fomalware. And then we have, like, like some of their hobbies here. I always put like the same types of photographs in here so I can like flush it out a little bit. So we have like, like Chris 
it's like use the computer, look in the mirror, then I have Melissa over here like gardening and stuff. And if we go over here, we can see more portraits, we can see like their little portrait here. And then we can see their like nice room, you know, you walk in, it's very quaint looking, like their nice bed. And then you have like the creative sim area here. One thing I had trouble with was like matching all the woods because like the palettes are so limited in this game. And it's like you don't have like creative style or anything. So I mean you have to sort of just like like play around with stuff until you get it right. So there's nothing you can really do about that. Here's their family portrait. I put these in every build because I feel like that's it's sort of important to have like a family portrait there so I so I can see the family. You don't need it. Like you can just download this build off the gallery, but you have to like check the custom cotton thing. But you won't have this in here. You have to like download a mod for that. But it's if you want it, you can always just like comment or something. So you can see Christian's computer and stuff, and then we can go into the backyard. And here is where uh, like Chris and Melissa would like go outside. They can like sit together, have like brunch or something. They could like go or like have a drink maybe. And in the original Sims 1, the 10 Sim Lane, in this balcony, it looked over like water. Right? So it would make more sense for like the fence width to be here. But it just looks over this area. Yeah, there's like no water here. It's not like on a cliff or anything. So it's not really as pretty. But I mean, it's still near water. So it's fine. So I like the style of this house because it's similar to the other ones, which is more like one floor, like kind of ranch style. I don't really know how ranch style is, but I did give them like the similar roof style and stuff. But yeah, I think this particular neighborhood is going to be like themed to be like one floor, like small quaint houses, you know, like I don't know, I think like maybe like white picket fences and stuff like that. But in general, that's sort of what I'm going for. Hmm, what else should I talk about? So if we go back to manage worlds, right? I think we can talk about the future plans I have for this series. So we have three worlds I need to do, and I'm like still working on on Willow Creek and stuff. Like we have all these like families here that I'm probably gonna evict, but I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I also made the original dead goths. I think I showed this off before, but I mean, like these are like the dead goths from The Sims One that were buried in the graveyard in the original. I'm, well, I'm obviously going to kill them all off, put them in the goth graveyard. To add to the mystery and then i have a couple households here that i did i did the nightshade family poppy and uh, violet and in my opinion poppy nightshade sounds a lot darker of a name than violet nightshade because i mean poppies are like aren't poppies used for like drugs and stuff i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's fine but whatever uh let's see do you have anyone else here i don't know what happened to the yeah the crumble balls are right here so one thing i'm thinking of is that perhaps like one of these could be a little bachelor house so michael bachelor i plan on moving him to like university once i get the pack or like but that's not going to be for a very long time but for now like i'll be keeping him here in willow creek like agnes will probably get her own house we'll see about that but maybe she'll live in one of these houses in in like top right corner um, for, as for these two, I'll probably move them here. I'll see what I can do for, like, their house, because it's really big. And I might want to keep them there, or I could also kill them off and put them in the goth house. I don't know, we'll see what happens here. I've started making over the other households too, but it'll take a while, so we'll see about that. I also want to build a household for the Foreman family, like, formally introduce them and all that, so... We'll see where it goes from there. I also want to put in a bunch more of my Sims characters. I just have to look for more my Sims characters with last names and stuff. So look forward to that. So if you made it this far, I next time I plan on 
probably making the pleasant household because I'm interested in building that particular house from the Sims one. I I don't know. I think it's like two, one Sim land, two Sim, three Sim land or something like that. Uh, but anyways, as if you made this far, thanks for watching. Next time, we're probably going to build the pleasant house here. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And see you then.